Then you want to match them on the. Bravo six, going dark. See if I can. It's attacking me. Just kill this guy, maybe. Butterfly in the sky. You will never get this. You will never get this. And see, this is the thing: is now I just have another jump to be able to get on this guy. Hello, one and all, and welcome to another exciting episode of Escape from Elo Hell, the series where I grip you tight and pull you from perdition. I'm your humble host, Gramps Scrubberfly, and today I'll be playing Kha'Zix Jungle. Uh, what I am trying to do with playing Kha'Zix Jungle this game is show off another different play style. Uh, so in the first game, I played Darius Top, who is, you know, kind of a lane bully uh, and is a bruiser who, you know, gets his leads and then, you know, becomes a problem and is kind of hard to kill, is tanky. Uh, um, and causes issues that way. And then I played Malzahar mid, who kind of just shoves waves over and over, scales into the mid and late game, um, and kind of have his different play styles and mid-range mage. And then Kha'Zix, as an assassin, I kind of wanted to show off how he works um, and what an assassin play style looks like. Uh, so this game, it looks like they have a Blitz and a Teemo that are trying to invade us here. So they have a Warden right there. Um, and they are trying to bully us off, it looks like. I don't really want to give it to them, but it looks like my team is just going to lane. So instead, I'm going to go and get my blue buff. I could have been at his red buff by now and taking that instead. Uh, and that's a little sad, but uh, no matter. I will instead just come over here and take this. Uh, by the fact that, oh, uh, well... That's unfortunate as well. Um, so I, mean, I saw that he was pushing. I guess I could have tried to make an appearance. Uh, but the problem there is that if I try to make an appearance there, uh, I have to give up on some of my farm. And then I start falling behind if the gank doesn't go well. So as of right now, I just want to get this farm. And then I may look to gank him here. Um, but if he is leaving, which it looks like he is, I may just go ahead and try to invade this Teemo. This is still here, which means he might walk up. I'm just going to start taking it. It might be the correct call to wait for him, but there's no way to know that. There's no, long, no way to know how long I'll be waiting if I wait. So instead, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. Um, and not wait for him to show up and possibly be waiting here for a long, long time. And then in the meantime, I'm going to grab these as well, uh, just because I'm here and I can, and he hasn't shown up. So I'm going to assume that he is, I don't know, trying to counter jungle my top side or assume that I was already going to be here. So took my entire bot side and then took uh, his bot side. And that's why he's so late to this. I'm going to go and get this crab instead and then maybe look to gank this guy in the mid lane. Um, oh. He's going to walk over here. I mean, I can just smite this if he does. I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah, I know he's there. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Uh, I'm walking right here. I don't think Teemo's here. Let me make something happen. Come on over here. Come on over. I mean, I can at the very least get some gold off of my first strike and do some damage to him. Uh, and that's good enough. Uh, so he has 28. So he has one more camp than me. So he probably just took... You know, he probably took my whole bot side. So I will instead go get this crab, and that should catch me up to him. Uh, Blitzcrank looks like he's running this way. I'm going to grab that and then just hop over this wall. Oh, no, Blitzcrank is not coming Fuck here, so good. I will instead... Well, he blinded me, so I didn't get my passive off. Okay, well, now the cane's here. Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. I really thought my mid laner would show up. It looks like Teemo flashed, which is fine. I don't care if he flashes on me. I, I can't walk into him. I will die. But I can wait here. I've made a severe and continuous. And then maybe flash. I don't think I have to flash. They'll just kill him. There we go. So uh, so we're gonna go Ghostblade first. Ghostblade is really good on Kha'Zix. Yeah, like me going there just probably gets me killed. So we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, we're gonna start walking back topside. He's pushed in. He's in a really bad spot. I do want to help him. Timo went and did the grubs, uh, and losing that kind of sucks. But. I've been putting pressure on the map. I had to back. I was just in a position where I didn't have an option but to back. Teemo is going to look for my blue buff, maybe? Oh, I'm, I'm right here. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Free kill. Uh, so we take that free kill, and then I maybe go look for my blue buff. Possibly go look mid, but I think he's just going to shove that and back off. So I'm not going to look for that at the moment. I'm just going to keep 
farming my jungle for the moment and just keeping an eye on my lanes. Uh, and that's one of the hardest things as a jungler is kind of finding out how to balance, you know, helping your lanes with farming your jungle because you have to do both. Uh, and depending on what jungler you're playing depends on, you know, how much you are doing one or the other. Um, Kha'Zix likes to farm because he scales pretty well. And I'm going to evolve my Q first here. I can still, I can come here and kill this guy for sure. It looks like maybe he has another ward over on the side or not. No. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to walk this way because I don't want him to be able to come over here and just juke the whole gank. I missed my W, which sucks, and almost got my mid laner killed, but it ended up fine. So it looks like they are winning here. If they continue to win here, um, I can get Dragon after. Oh, I didn't get an assist, which is a little sad, but I'm just going to come take Dragon now because uh, Kha'Zix takes these objectives relatively quickly with his evolved Q uh, because he gets reduced cooldown whenever uh, he hits something that is isolated. So we get that. I'm going to put a ward right up here just to try to get a... Oh, I'm right here. Okay, that's fine. Just back off for now. Do some damage. It doesn't really matter who we go on at this point, I think. I mean, I'm probably just going to kill both of these guys. So, yep. All right. So, as a result, I now want to look up here. This is already gone. And you know what? I have a lot of gold. So, I think what I'm going to do is just take this crab and then back. Um, that way, I can utilize my gold. I mean, if he wants to fight this... There we go. I'll just get another kill out of it. And then Blitzcrank's going to try to pull me. I'm just going to walk down this way. There's a lot of fighting going on, uh, which honestly isn't that bad for me. I don't want to fight this. I just want to get... She took my crap for no reason, and that makes me sad. Um, but I do have enough for my item. I'm greedy and want to farm, to be honest. I'm going to grab these boots just because I can afford them and they give me CDR, get some long swords, and then I'm going to run over here and try to get something done. Um, they should honestly be able to win this without me, and it looks like they will, uh, which is awesome. It means that like I'm not even needed here. And we're just stronger on this side of the map. 3v2, which is kind of insane. But now we'll be able to take these grubs. Um, and it looks like they, they already got four grubs, which sucks, but is what it is can't change the past uh we got the first dragon so we'll focus on those and then when harold comes up we'll focus on getting that as well i really want to get some farm right now uh, we do have dragon coming up in two minutes we also have uh the herald coming up in a minute we see him down here i'm gonna start walking because i want to try to help them if i can i'm gonna be a little late to this but I might be able to get there in time to help out. She's going to die regardless, but I might be able to... Just do some do some damage here. Okay, well, there's Zin Zhao is here, which is very scary. So I'm going to back off a little bit. I don't have ults. I don't have anything to kind of keep me into this fight. I'm going to play back because if one of them jumps on me, I will just die and I don't want that to happen. So instead, I'm going to go down here and just go get a camp. I will ping him off to let him know that I am not helping him. And if he walks down here, I can just kill him. Did he not? Where did he go? He didn't walk down here. Hello. Oh, hello. There we go. Kill that guy. And yeah, we lost the dragon, but I also got the herald, so uh, this looks like it's going to end badly. There's too much going on here. Hello again, dumbbell. You're going nowhere. Just trying to kill this guy and then kind of run this way and just play around. Because if this guy gets onto me, I might die, so I'm just kind of trying to play around my cooldowns. Which worked out. He got a triple kill, and now everyone's dead, and they're aced, and we can just... Y'all inting? Who's y'all? 
I don't know. I'm gonna ignore him. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna mute him. Cause I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I guess he's saying the bot lane's inting, but they're like doing fine. They could be doing better, I guess, but they're not doing bad. I'm gonna be greedy and do another charge on this. Maybe not the best idea, might get me killed, but you know, sometimes you just gotta be greedy. Well, he already used his pull, and I didn't die, so I think at this point I might just be able to walk away. Eh, I'm just gonna flash. Help! Over here, maybe? Nope. Okay, well, I lived. <laughs> I am probably going to evolve E second, just because I personally like it. In this game, they're very squishy, and I think that I can get a lot of resets, and that'll be very good for me. Uh, as opposed to going W and slowing people, I don't think that'll be as effective. This game, at least, I think normally W is better, um, but just this game, I want to go E because it'll help me pop off more, and I think that it'll serve me well this game. So, like right here, it's gonna evolve my E, um, and I will hit him. Just see if I can. No, I wasn't able to reset on him, so that's sad. Uh, but now we can just go top and help Darius kill this. No, he doesn't want to. Kill him! The hell? Just kill this dude. It's easy. Oh, or you walk away and almost watch me die. Alright, well, don't rely on teammates to do dives at this elo, I think is what I'm learning. Um, he, he finished it off, so it's fine. I, I think that it definitely could have been handled better, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We got the dive off, so what are you gonna do? Um, I mean, if they want to do something here, they have three people. I don't really know that this is... Oh, I'm dead as hell. Goodbye. <laughs> Just not respecting the cane. You know, it'd it be like that sometimes. All right. Um, so I died and the Darius died, uh, but my team is just stronger than them and ended up being able to turn the fight. It looks like they might be able to take this tower. Um, I'm going to push this mid lane uh, so that I can get easier access to the dragon. Uh, and then I'm going to go kill dragon in 30 seconds because I think that is the best thing that I can do with my time at the moment. Um, just in case this game goes long, it shouldn't. But if it does, we want to make sure that we have soul and they don't. Uh, Timo has actually done a pretty good job of trading objectives with me, um, so good on him for that. Um, and that's kind of another rule of jungling, is just whenever someone's doing something on one side of the map, if you can't go there and stop them, then you want to match them on the other six. side. Go and dog. See if I can just kill this guy, maybe? Butterfly in the sky. And see, this is the thing, is now I just have another jump to be able to get on this guy. And then jump over here. So they can get that. I'm going to go get Dragon. All right, so Dragon is taken. Let's go take a look at that top, at that bot lane, rather. He's going to take that crab. I kind of wanted it, but, like, it's not that big a deal. I just want to kind of shadow the Darius. I don't want to show right now. I just want to shadow him and make sure that he is safe. I'm going to put a ward right there just to get a good idea of where people are. It's a good uh, place where people run around a lot. Uh, I'm going to go invisible. And just kill him for free. You can't really stop me. And it looks like we're just going to win a fight in the mid lane too. Uh, they're a little... I don't know. Might be over committing a little bit here. I think it might be better for me if I just went bot. But... I'll just be here just in case. I don't really like us, like, diving their base, but... Okay, that's fine. I do have Flash, which I'll probably do here. Yep. I am invincible! Invin Kill that guy. And my W. I still do a lot of damage. <laughs> so even though I'm low, I can still get in here and, and do stuff. I don't really want to walk in there. Like, I know he's dying, but I don't have a lot of health. So I don't want to jump in and then just instantly die. So I'm going to put a ward here. I'm going to look to take this. Get a little bit of health back. And then possibly come over here with an ult and kill people. Um, but if nothing's happening, I'll just take this. Get myself more of a lead, get myself more gold, uh, get myself a red buff, get a red buff for my team, um, and then 
we can just back here uh, and I'll go ahead and get my profane hydra um, and then I don't think we're gonna need the Shirelda's Grudge, but you know what? Why not? Let's go for it. I'm just gonna run over here with this Darius for the moment. I don't think it's my optimal play, but I wanna make sure that he's not dying, like overcommitting and dying. I'm not gonna use my ults. I don't wanna use it right now. Uh, I actually appreciate you pulling me. Um, do we wanna get Baron? We could get Baron. We can get this inhib into getting Baron. I think that would be very useful for us. Like, I don't think we need to look to end the game right now. They're only down for 20 seconds. I think that Baron is the better play. So maybe this could go really, really badly because our team kind of split and did not uh, commit to the same decision. I'm also taking a lot of damage from the Baron. So if a fight breaks out, it could be bad, but I get the smite off and we're fine. No big deal. I think we should just go top. I think that, well, I guess that we're just gonna all in them here and yeah, I'm stronger than you. You don't wanna walk up to me, I promise you that. Uh, I know that you're also an assassin, but I am so much stronger than you are. Uh, we could really just go get that top lane turret, but it kind of looks like my team is just very focused on walking through this mid lane, so I'm just going to help them do that because I don't want to confuse them by trying to do too many things, I guess. Um, he is... He's a cop, brother. Don't ignore him. He will kill you. Scary. Well... I do a lot of damage, so I was just able to kind of walk at him um, and not get bursted because he just used his abilities. So I waited for him to walk up, waited for him to use some abilities, and then jumped in and killed him. Um, I think we're just going to end the game here, so I'll just come help with that instead of doing whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, and yeah, that's how you win a Cossack's Jungle game. Uh, and Iron, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, leave a comment saying who you want me to play, or, you know, any concepts you didn't understand. Like, dislike the video, any of that. And I will see you in the next one.